Hello everybody and again this is Aaron and uh, we're going to do a simple hack today with the uh, Mini ITX. Now the Mini ITX is limited on space and in order to do that they cut down on a few of the items that uh, we need and one of those, let me show you my computer monitor, I brought up a picture of what we are talking about today. And that is going to be this right here, that right there. That is your USB header. You have one of those. Now you have over here on at least this motherboard, which is the Asus Z97i Plus, uh, which is the board that I have, you have a USB 3 header. Okay, that's fantastic. That goes to the front of your case. Okay, but this one over here also goes to the front of your case. Now in a situation like I have where I've added a water-cooled uh, GPU, it needs that. So in order to be able to um, utilize the software on my water cool system, I had to sacrifice the front header on my case. Now, I didn't like this. I mean, that's why would I want to build something non-functional? So I came up with a way. Actually, I didn't. Some other smarter person than me came up with it. Uh, Mike at Computer Base in Eugene, Oregon, showed me this simple hack, and I want to share that with you today. So let's come back over here. Now, there are two type of USB connectors, okay? They're all color-coded the same for the standard USB, and that is the flat 4-pin right here, which would have been okay, which would have been okay for me had um, I had uh, a simple slimline, two slimline connectors for that, for that header, okay? Which I didn't. I just had the... Uh, the one you can see that's a thin line, um, but then the second one, which is the one that came on the case header, and also my um, USB, was this one here, which is a 10-pin USB. And if I can get it, there you go. Let's see it a little better. I'm sorry about the quality of this video, but you know I'm trying to just get some of this out there for people who are building ITX machines. So, I can take this one here and swap it out to the other one. Now, let's assume that this already has its four wires in there, okay? And we're just going to top pop the other ones out and stick it in here. So, let me uh, put this aside, the camera side here in a position that you guys can see me work. And there we go. Okay, for this you're going to need, without a doubt, you're going to need an X-Acto knife, okay, a screwdriver, screwdrivers to open your case um, up, but the X-Acto knife, you're going to come over to your, your four pin here, you're going to take your X-Acto knife, careful not to cut yourself, you're going to pop that open, there's these little tabs on those USB headers flick up okay when they flick up you kind of hold it there and just pull out the pin okay it might take a little bit but out it'll come you can see there it goes out okay and then you continue on down through all four now make sure you're you're uh, not pulling on the wire too hard that you break it off then that'll that'll just cause you more problems than you want so but they come out real easy once you bend those tabs up, okay? So, black, green, white, and red. Black, green, white, and red are your, your color coordinations, okay? So, you pull that out, and come on, you're out. Oh, I pushed down, pushed down that pin again. So just come back, lift back up underneath it, lift, and pull, and out it'll come, okay? And then the last one here, you can see this doesn't take very long. And just about have it here. And out it comes. So now it's it's out, okay? Now, very important when you go to your other header here, okay? Your 10-pin USB double-sided header um, that you put it back in. Now, I've got an example here. It's not a USB one. But it's the same. It's the same type of header. So you would put these exactly 
in the same position that the other ones that they came out in the same order that the pins are on the existing header you're going to use. You're going to use one of these um, on the other side. So you would take that and again if you can tell these have an orientation to them. Okay, and Kind of like there's they're flat on one side and a little bump on the other. Okay, That bump is going to face you. Okay, So it's going to face up. So red would be the first one that we would do. Okay. And actually it would be right here. So you would push that in. There you go. The next one would be white. And you would just push and get it lined up. There you go. And push that in like that. If it snaps, you can just hear it barely snap. Okay. And then you would push the next one in. Now this this is using the existing one of the existing headers that you have in there if you have a double. Okay? And then this one right here. Just pushes right in. Okay? And you'll hear it snap. Okay? So there I go. So just take for example that this would be now a double USB header port. Okay? For your that single uh, ITX port that you have on it. So now you can utilize two USBs, the front panel and a secondary USB port on your system. You would go in and just plug it in. Now, it's very important that you double check it that this side, the red to red, white to white, green to green, and black to black. When you plug it in, you will have a system that works. Now, I'm going to show you how it looks in the case because I've already done this on my Mini ITX. So let's take a look here. I'll look here down on it. So you can see here, there you go, I have two USB lines going in there. One to my fan on my CPU cooler or GPU cooler and the other one is a front USB port on my system. Now it's real difficult because you guys know it's an ITX but I have one header port as I showed you and now I have two lines going to it that I can control two USB ports from the outside of my case. It's not a ghetto hack. It is uh, going to save you about 40 bucks if you go and try to buy a daughter board that has to come in from the back and it just looks awful. So here you've made something and again this is all about making everything as, as nice as possible. You've made a fully functional front panel and ex accessory USB port. Now it's real simple if you go down the road and you want to change maybe something out, you just repop that out, the, the side that you need to use, and you're done. There you go. So that's how you modify a single USB to a double USB. Okay? Because as we all know, as IT many ITX enthusiasts, that we're making sacrifices. But we want our sacrifices to be meaning something and you can take a single problem here right there single problem and turn that into this side is one USB and that side is another USB so it just takes a few seconds and it's not too too difficult so I hope you enjoyed this if you like it please uh, subscribe down below and I'll talk to you soon go up mini ITX